Well, it's great to be back in Pahrump, uh, out uh, meeting with some of uh, the local leaders, the community organizations. Uh, first, talking about the new uh, program for this summer. Uh, Pahrump is leading the way, actually, here in the state of Nevada, doing mobile outreach for food assistance during the summer. Uh, during the school year, kids uh, who qualify for free and reduced meals uh, starting this summer will be able to go to one of three locations uh, throughout Pahrump to receive uh, either a breakfast or a lunch or both uh, depending upon uh, where they live. It's a great opportunity. It was based on a grant uh, that we were able to secure uh, for Nevada from the Department of Agriculture because uh, we have such a low percentage of eligible families who are participating in the summer food program. And that's part of the, the programs where they're sending the backpacks home, or is this going to be something different? No, nope, it's part of the backpack program uh, as well. Uh, but the backpack program and the summer food program all are kind of under the same mm -hmm. package of, of summer food assistance programs. So the kids who otherwise wouldn't get a nutritious meal can go to one of these community centers mm -hmm. or the park and, and get one. And, Pahrump has increased participation 36% in just the last year. That's incredible. It's a great job. It, it speaks to kind of the out-of-box thinking uh, of the local leaders who've been working together to get this done. Uh, so I just want to commend everybody in Pahrump for working together. You're here at Nye Communities Coalition. You're going to be having a roundtable to talk about housing? Yes, uh, I was recently appointed to the Financial Services Committee. Uh, one of my subcommittee assignments is uh, the Housing Subcommittee. Mm -hmm. uh, because Nevada has the most unstable housing market in the country, uh, I'm here to listen to what the issues are in Pahrump, both from a public housing standpoint as well as from a p private housing standpoint. Uh, what's the percentage of, of home foreclosures? How many homes are upside down in value? Are people having to short sell their homes? What are the challenges of people being able to stay in their homes and, and stay current on their mortgages? What's the rental market look like here? So that I can take that information back and represent Pahrump and their needs uh, on the work going forward of this uh, new committee. Do you foresee it getting better in the housing market? Indications are uh, that it is getting better, but look, for the people that are stuck in an underwater home, uh, which is 40% of the homes in Southern Nevada are upside down in valley, uh, value, Pahrump is no different. You know, we were, Pahrump was part of the boom uh, when the housing markets uh, were, were escalating. A lot of people moved out to Pahrump uh, because it was too expensive to afford housing in, in Las Vegas. Uh, and now uh, some of them are in uh, mortgages that have high interest rates. Uh, they are upside down in value. Uh, they might need to short sale. Uh, and that's why we're actually working on a mortgage relief tax bill uh, so that if people do short sell their house, the loss that they take won't be counted as income uh, for the IRS. You're also meeting with veterans today. Well, anytime I come to Pahrump, I always meet with our veterans. Uh, about 40% of the population here in Pahrump are veterans. Uh, I'm letting them know where we are with the uh, process with getting the new veterans clinic built, which is the number one priority that I've been working on. I am now personally making a daily call into uh, the VA administration office until I get an answer on when we're going to be able to uh, put a shovel in the ground and uh, uh, get to work. You know, this is a project that's already financed, it's already in the budget, we've already done the bid process. All we need is for Secretary Shinseki to sign a piece of paper to authorize us to proceed. Uh, so I'm committed to doing everything I can uh, to get this new veterans clinic built here in Pahrump for our veterans. You're also opening an office here? Well, I'm, uh, we'll be uh, joining uh, our Pahrump Democrats in opening the new coordinated office uh, later today. Uh, you know, Pahrump is, a, is a very active politically, and we want to make sure that people who want to volunteer, who want to get out and help people register, who want a phone bank, know that they can come to our coordinated office. I will have staff that are uh, housed in that office, uh, as other campaigns throughout the Democratic Party will be as well. So uh, we'll be uh, over at the uh, Democratic uh, Party headquarters opening our new coordinated office later today.